enter scores. You just come up to the main match menu. Hit enter scores. We have Sam stage, Bill drills. Okay, we're going to be on, say, stage one at Sam stage. This we're in squad one. So there we are. Notice it has the names here. Now you can sort these names. The last name by first name, hit factor, shooter number, clean, complete, random. So let's sort them randomly. Do that. You're going to have to tell it you're going to sort it randomly by tapping that. Then you have to tap this random deal up here. Every time you tap that, it'll sort it differently. Just random. Feels like that. Come on. So you notice it changes each and every time. Uh, you can find another shooter if you need to. For some reason, he's not in there. Or you can register a new shooter. This is where the walk-in part will come on in. So you can register a new shooter. We can register this shooter here without being a walk-on, I'm sorry, till somebody actually scores a, a match or whatever. So we're going to discard that. Okay. Now let's say I'll go to the billboard. The shooting. And it says this stage is not complete. It's a two-string stage. The first string was 526. And the second string was 423. He did not have any procedurals. There were two steals, and he only knocked down one. So we'll put one there. You notice it automatically deducts the steal from the hits, or vice versa, the other way. So one. And we have targets. This is zero of three targets are complete. Okay, so here you had an Alpha Charlie. When you have enough hits on the target, it turns green. If you put too many on there, it will turn red. To clear that, either just hold on the hit that you added too much to, or you can go to the target number and add tap on that, and it'll clear the entire row for you. You know, this did not have any no penalty mics. This one did. So we put. You had one no penalty mic and one A, and then a C and a D. All the boxes are green. See the status says it's ready. It tells you some instructions or tap increments, and then tap and hold clear. So done. Bill's done. We're ready. We can review it here. It gives me all the, the stats information as far as steel points, paper points, points all together. His hit factor and his time. That tells me how many A's, C's, and D's, and no penalty mics he had. So he had one meg steal. And so you just hit, if you need to, something in here is not correct, you would just hit edit score and it gains you back to that page where you could edit the score. If not, you just hit approve. Come on, approve. And go to the next shooter. Next shooter is Philip Phillips. And you notice, let's see here. that it flashes the name and the stage name for the shooter that you're scoring. It's very important to pay attention to that as a scorer and get the wrong stuff on the wrong guy. We'll cover that in troubleshooting. Okay. Procedurals. Get one procedural. Comes up with the ranger approaching target while scoring. Extra hits. Stacked shots. Tells you all the penalties you can have here. We're going to give them a 911 there. Okay. Uh, additional penalties, if you notice, it put 9.1.1 of which targets while scoring right here. It's the steal he got, now it's zero of three targets. We're going to tap the targets. He got two alpha. So you're going to put two hits in there. You put two, two Charlie, and then two Delta. Okay. You can have any more penalties right. Um, no penalty mics, and your status is ready. <clears throat> so once they're all green, you've completed scoring on that those targets. Go back, hit squad number at the top. Scoring Mr. Porter here. 
He shot it in 5.16 and then shot the other one in an incredible 3.26. And pretty good. Uh, he got all this, he forgot to steal completely though. And he had a Delta and a Charlie and a no penalty mic and a Delta and two Alpha. So they're all green. Again, they're ready to go. Just hit done. You don't have to hit review. It automatically saves it when it changes screens. And in Android, you have to hit save or review every time. Not in Apple's deal. So I basically zeroed that stage, low hit factor. And that's basically how you s score each stage. Uh, your squads, you find your squad and you basically stay on that squad. Okay. You can also find all the shooters in a match that way too. So you'll see this a lot. Not all shooters have been scored, leave the squad, stay and fix it. This is one of all squads we can do that. Just hit yes. You're not gonna lose any information hitting yes. You notice here on the scoring export shooters list it used to say add re add new shooter there. Once somebody's scored it won't let you add a new shooter that way. You can add it now you have to go back through the walk-on part of the match. Of course, just leave this squad and stay and fix it. Just letting you know that everything's not complete on that squad. Of course, that was all shooters group, so it really wasn't a squad, but that's the way it displays it. Okay. All right, so you got three scores in. You got three scores logged. The score logs also are a way to figure out if somebody has changed the scores on the iPad, say a competitor or something gets hold of the iPad and decides he wants to change his scores, say your R your RO has left your iPad there at lunch and they decided to change their scores. You can actually see that they were changed from what they were to what they are now and have the opportunity to actually change them back if you had to. So score login is a good idea. It uploads to your to practice score and the score logs when you upload the match also. So you always have that as a backup there. Also one of the things about uh, putting in the time, you have an auto decimal check deal here. You can check that and then you can just type the numbers in and it automatically puts the decimal where it should be. Kinda. The other thing about the keyboard, number keyboard here, so you put in too many numbers you can always just hit the x and go back that way so. one of the interesting things too about this is if you do have to edit a score so you got the time wrong you don't necessarily have to clear it all you can just type the new number say it wasn't 526 it was 562 562 as soon as you hit that first number it's going to change that same thing here let's say it was a a 324, so you hit that, it automatically zeroes it for you, so you don't have to clear that every time. So you, anything down here, just type over the information, you can clear the row just by tapping it, and then do three, oh, too many, hold it, one, two, got it just right. So I can hold it there and zero it that way, or I can just touch the target number on the front and clear the row that way. So turns green, I'm done, I back up like that. So. Okay, you're gonna have shooters with no squads. You're gonna have to happen to have that. This might be a, a walk-on type situation where you have that, and you find those right here. Uh, you score them just like you would a regular score, a uh, regular competitor on a regular squad. And go back when it says you want to leave this squad or stay and fix this squad. Not all shooters have been scored. You understand that. Touch and leave the squad does not affect any of the information that has already been put in and saved. So you can leave the squad with confidence that you're not going to screw anything up. Okay, score local score logs is a logging so you can tell when scores were inputted and when they were changed. This keeps uh, 
Let me touch it here. We got 16. It shows you there are two score logs per score. And there's two that are five minutes apart, two that are ten minutes apart. There's the log by stage, which stage, Sam's stage, there's ten logs on that. Bill drilled it with six. Also shows you logs by shooters too. So you can tell this touch that on stage one at two fifteen. Ben's was changed to that particular score. Here's a good example is one on my stage or a reporter. I have five score logs in there. I originally put stage one in and had a zero hit factor on it, if you can see that. We had two alpha, a C, two Ds, two misses, and no penalty mic. And time wasn't quite fast enough not to have a zero. At 2.42, I went in and changed my scoring to six alpha, two Charlies, no mics, no penalty mics. And the total time it was a little longer, but my hit factor at that time was 331. Score logging is good to be able to catch somebody who maybe picked up an iPad while your ROs were at lunch and decided they'd change their score to something better than what they actually shot. It's also a good way to see if uh, you do make a mistake on and it's entering something in, you have to enter it again. It logs that, that you did that, so there's no, you can always go back and show the competitor, yes, we did fix your problem on that one particular stage. So it's a good, great to have a, uh, logs like that. And that's what score logs are for. Okay. Okay, so you got a competitor that just got DQ'd for whatever violation. You see the DQ button right there while you're scoring. You just tap that DQ button like that. And it'll ask you if you're sure you want to disqualify this competitor in his name. You tap yes. Then this list of uh, DQable offenses come out. You know, 10.41 is out of range. and. The AD out of range, I accidentally discharged within 10 feet. Blah, blah, blah. I won't go all over him. You just say, uh, he said, had a 10.4.6. So you got, you know, you had a lad just secure disqualified and a lad the reason why he was disqualified. And then you can just go back. If you go all the way back to the shooter squads like that, it'll show Bill Poor. And where we were talking about earlier, disqualified him, turned that to yes, and said why he got disqualified right there. So, guess you don't really need to go back that far. So. And it turns his name to red, too, when there's a disqualification or a DNF. The next thing we'll do is a DNF. <clears throat> we're going to go approve the score. Edit the score here. I'm going to give him a DNF. It says, little dialog box, are you sure you want a DNF? Philip Phillips, and we push yes. And it just did not finish. So. And then you would score him appropriately. Again, it puts his name up there in red also. It did not finish stage one. So. And there's a certain procedure for, you know, how misses and all that so you know read up on that and that's all there is to dequeuing somebody now if he goes in and decides to arbitrate it and he wins his arbitration you can go back and edit his score and you can see it says undequeue here so you can undequeue him and it'll ask you do you want to undisqualify bill poor and you go yes so, and then it actually puts his score back in the match for him so same thing with the dnf it says right here you need to notify the range master when you use either one of the dq or the dnf so 